Salutations, everybody! Dreamforge back with another build guide for Battle Brothers. Today we have a very special build, I feel. Uh, I just saw on the stream a couple days ago somebody using this very cool sword. This Reproach of the Old Gods. This is like a one-handed sword that you get after you kill the Kraken, then you do the water milk, and then you get this thing. And this basically is, is a sword. It doesn't hit particularly hard or something like this. But the cool thing about this, when you hit, there's just like lightning coming out of this. And this does quite a damage, especially if you hit like three times one round. So I just thought maybe we can make a cool build out of this. This is probably not the first time that somebody makes a build out of this thing. But this is a very cool endgame build. This is a very unique weapon. This is a lot of fun to use. Or you could even convert your lone wolf. As a lone wolf, you get this two-handed sword. And then using sword mastery would be kind of cool. And maybe you can just convert him later on and using this thing because this is a sword too. Skill-wise, it kind of depends where you start that dude. Maybe he's in the front line directly from the beginning. Then, of course, you want to take Colossus. Or this is just an amazing bro you got later on. And you want to level him in the back. Then you get this first. Either way, it doesn't really matter that much. Then I would take Gifted just to boost up his stats. Then I would give him Pathfinder so he can move around better. Yeah. Afterwards, this is a dude that gets will get into melee a lot. So I take Underdog to give enemies less chance to hit. And then I would give him Battleforge. I mean, in the end, you can see this is pretty heavy gear. So this would just make sense. And then I would take Fearsome. I really like Fearsome because you hit a lot. You know, you would trigger this, obviously, two or three times. On top of that... The lightning of this sword will do 10 to 20 damage. It will ignore armor, by the way. But it will only proc fearsome or the fearsome proc when you do 15 or more damage, like the normal moral check you would do. So it's not as crazy as you think, like procking fearsome like 10 times every turn. That's probably not the case. But having fearsome with this, will this thing will proc if you get very lucky very often. This is very powerful. This is a melee guy and I will talk in which version you will take him. I would always take this. The last thing you want to have with your absolute ma amazing bro, especially if this is your lone wolf. You get critical headshots in your face and your dude is dead. <laughs> you of course don't want that. And then I would take berserk. You get sometimes killed and therefore you obviously want that. And Sword Mastery. I mean, it's a sword after all. You probably, if you have a lone wolf, have Sword Master. Maybe even because of the two-handed sword. You can always give him a two-handed sword. I mean, you can switch this around if you want. And now is the big question. Do you want to make him the offensive guy that has double grip? Or you want to make him a tank? He is like your off tank. You will not have Indom, but you will be able to... You will sit there with a big shield, with big armor... And you actually have this crazy sword. You could do that. I would actually prefer that. And then you would then you would actually get this. So this is just like a cool thing, you know, you get extra defenses. You really want to have them, to be honest. But you don't have to do this. You could take this, but I don't like this on this build at all. Because those lightnings, and this will be the majority of your damage, they don't scale with this. Only the hit. Maybe you think, now you know what, hey, why don't you take Duelist? That's actually a very cool idea, but the problem is that this weapon doesn't really do much damage. And this doesn't really do anything for the lightning. They have 100% penetration of armor anyways, right? So you can take a lot of things you like. You could, you could go either way. You could, you could maybe even take Brawny if you really want. Just take what you like. I would probably make him a little bit more defensive. I really like this. And then I would just off tank sometimes dangerous enemies you want to put him in front of multiple enemies this is the reason underdog is very important and shield expert and then you can just slay away <laughs> just like that gear wise i mean we kind of hovered over this if you want to level the back line just just some random stuff a pike you know if you want to level him in front he will be some sort of like a tank early on you would take this Maybe even this early on. If you get this early on, I wouldn't. Then, of course, I would change this to, to one sword. Maybe an arming sword or something, right? But, uh, yeah. And then later on, of course, I would give him your best fame gear. Because this is pretty intensive. Swinging three times, maybe. When you kill something with the lightning, 
Berserk Prox. Only once per turn. Again, this is a very, very specific bro. This is an end, end, end game bro. We have to have those builds. <laughs> this build is a hell out of fun, obviously. And I think he's really cool. Like this, this lightning, lightning sword with a big shield, with big armor, you know, just standing there tanking two or three targets and then doing massive damage, killing three or enemies sometimes a turn. I really saw this happening. But you have to get this thing first, you know. <laughs> so leveling, this is just a relatively normal dude, a tank, but you have to prioritize melee attacks. So you need a bro that has some sort of melee capabilities. This is not a tank that you can take with 48 melee attack. This doesn't work. You don't need crazy amounts, but the more the better, right? You want to aim for, I would say, at least 75, or I would say even, even 80. So you want to level, of course, melee attack. You want to level melee defense. You don't want to die, obviously. And then you want to have some sort of resolve, right? But you should take a good background for this. Or this is your lone wolf. You have a lot of resolve anyway, so you don't really have to think about this. And then you need some HP and I would level fatigue too. You want to aim for 150 and 120 fatigue later on. Swords are not that heavy to use and with the sword mastery this gets down quite a bit. But swinging three times every round, I mean, you don't want to stop swinging, right? <laughs> so get good fatigue, you know, get that crazy farm hand, for example, right? And then just slay everything with lightnings. Very specific kind of gimmicky build, but very end game. I hope you have fun with this dude. Let me know when you build that guy and how good he is. Have a good one.